Hey everyone, it's Sean with Sean Lauer Photography again, and this is part two of my How I Shot It and Edited It series. This photo was a photo I took during a wedding uh, earlier this, uh, this year, actually at about October, once we started getting into the uh, cold and rainy season here in uh, Colorado. And to be honest with you, when I first shot this photo, looking at it straight off the camera, I was not impressed with that. I was actually kind of disappointed, to be honest. And uh, I'm, and the main reason is I'm a big fan of, you know, what you see is what you get. Uh, I come from a photojournalist background, photojournalism background. That's really hard to say for some reason. And I was always taught to get the shot as perfect as you can straight off the camera and nail the shot, you know, no editing. You have deadlines to meet, you can't play with images. Um, so that's kind of been my mentality, but this was one particular image that really needed editing to bring it out, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So to start, uh, just a little bit of mist that day, so not a ton of rain, and I really wanted to illuminate the background uh, and backlight this couple. So what I did is I put my speed light, actually to be exact, my uh, Godox 8200 on a light stand directly behind him, probably about, oh, I'd say about 10 feet with the intention of illuminating the raindrops and getting a little bit of, uh, of a rim light on their head, as you can see kind of right here. Um, and then of what I also did to add a little bit of uh, warmth to the image is I put on uh, either a quarter or a half uh, stop um, CTO gel from MagMod. That stands for Color Temperature Orange. Basically, it's just a filter that you put over your uh, speed light or your flash to add some sort of color to the image. And then of course on that, I used a MagMod MagSphere. And on top of all that, I wrapped it in a plastic bag so my gear wouldn't get wet. So I'm gonna show you what the original image looked like and you're gonna see immediately why I did not like this photo straight off the camera. So here we go, I'm gonna reset this right now. Yeah, so I shot this in uh, auto white balance and uh, this is what it captured. Uh, quite some blown out highlights in the umbrella here, which I was able to bring down a little bit as you saw earlier, and uh, just very cool color temperature. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to fix and save this image. So to start, shot this on a D850 with the 105-14, my absolute favorite combo, by the way. Quite expensive, but worth it if you're a portrait photographer. So first thing I'm gonna do is really just warm up this image. I'm gonna actually bring it up uh, quite a bit. I'm gonna bring it up to 11,000. Um, that's really going to just add a lot more warmth to the image. What I'm then going to do is bring up my exposure to my liking. I'm going to I'm going to try there and uh, see kind of how that looks like. And I'm going to be making small adjustments throughout the whole video and keep playing around until I find something I like. And that's the whole deal. And that's the whole kind of fun of photo editing is experimenting and see what you like. So. Um, let's see, what should I do next? I think I'm going to actually bring up my contrast a little bit. As I mentioned in my last image, or my last video, I should say, I really like contrasty images. So already it's just really starting to bring life to this photo. I'm going to bring down my highlights a little bit, try to mitigate some of that, those blown out highlights in the umbrella. And what I'll actually do later is uh, go to my paintbrush tool and paint that out. But we'll, I'll show you that in a second. Want to add a little bit of clarity to this image as well. Want to try to bring out some of the raindrops, make it pop a bit more. I typically try to stay away from clarity as much as I can because it can create unnatural skin tones, but um, with just a little bit of pop, it helps a lot. So as you can see, that really brought up some of the, uh, the raindrops a little bit here. And I'm just gonna bring up my vibrance. I love just kind of those bold colors. And I'm thinking that's, uh, that's a really good start. What I'm gonna do now is make a little bit more fine adjustments. I'm going to uh, first kind of bring, crop this down just a little bit, try to get rid of some of that tree on the left here. Uh, let's see. Yes, that looks good. Why did it, uh, why did, there we go, okay. So, what I'm gonna do now is go to my paintbrush tool and I'm still not quite happy with the, the lack of raindrops, you know, you can see them, but I really want to make it more pronounced. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, bring all these values to zero, and I'm going to bring up my clarity quite a bit. Quite a bit. And I'm actually going to leave my highlights right about 10 right here. That way I can bring up some of the, uh, the highlights in these raindrops. So paintbrush tool, uh, about that big. And I'm just going to paint all around this image and really just bring up those uh, those raindrops here. And as you can see, it is just completely making these raindrops pop and really bringing life to the areas of this image. And again, I'm trying to paint around the couple because I don't want too much clarity 
on them. I want to keep those skin tones nice and soft, and I don't want them to uh, look too fake. So that's looking pretty damn good. I think I'm just going to make one more adjustment, which is what I mentioned earlier, trying to bring down some of the highlights in this umbrella. Unfortunately, it was one of those uh, clear shoot-through umbrellas, not really a shoot-through, just kind of a prop umbrella. And uh, unfortunately, there was not a lot I could do to to kind of bring down that those highlights just straight off the camera. If in retrospect, what I probably would have done is actually put a grid on my uh, my speed light, a mag grid to be specific, and that way it can kind of control the uh, the flash direction, the beam a little bit better. That way, it tried it tries to get some of the the light off that umbrella, but. What you already shot it, not that much you can do in retrospect. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually just bring down my highlights, probably 30. I'm creating a new brush tool, by the way. Bring down my exposure a little bit, and we're going to see what this looks. Actually, bring down the have our clarity at zero, and then um, maybe a little bit of dehaze, and just to see what this looks like. So I'm going to kind of paint. So it's bringing it down a little bit. Looks better, not great, it looks better. What I'm gonna do now is um, one more adjustment now that I'm bringing down those highlights, it's a little too yellow for me, so I'm actually gonna bring down my temperature on this umbrella and see, yeah, that looks a little bit better, and I'm actually gonna bring down the saturation quite a bit. There we go, that way it doesn't look so muddy or yellow. And I'm thinking that's a good looking photo. Um, if I wanted to do more, I could probably you know make their skin a little bit softer, you know, do some micro details, but this is good enough for me. This is good enough to deliver to the client to put in my portfolio, and I'm pretty happy with the shot. So I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video, and uh, please subscribe or at least keep up to date with my videos. And if you have any questions, as always, please post in the comments on YouTube, or you can uh, comment on the Facebook page I posted this on. Thank you very much, everyone. Hope you have a great day.